Hello learners and welcome back. Uh, in our today's lesson, we'll be dealing with uh, ledger accounts and extracting a trial balance. So we are expected to open ledger accounts or rather the T accounts, balance them, and then we extract a trial balance. So our question reads, the following transaction took place in the business of Highlands Retails in the month of June 2008. So the first transaction was on 1st June 2008. And uh, we are told, commenced business with 120,000 in cash. Commenced business uh, with 100,000 in cash. On 4th of June, transferred six, sorry, transferred 66,000 Kenyan shillings from business till to the bank. On 13th, June brought his private furniture worth 15,000 Kenyan shillings into the business for business use. And lastly, on 28th of June, I borrowed a loan in cash. 40,000 Kenyan shillings. So we are required to post those transactions in the relevant ledger accounts and extract a trial balance. So first things first, we analyze our transactions, then we open the ledger accounts and I move on. So on our first case, commenced a business with 120,000 in cash in this case, we have two accounts. One, we have a capital account. Uh, starting a business, commencing, commenced, means uh, starting a business. Therefore, in that case, we have a capital account and cash account. So, there is increase in capital. Remember, initially, before there was a business, there was no capital. So, in this case, capital... Uh, increases from zero to 120,000 Kenyan shillings. And a cash also increases, business cash increases from a zero to 120,000. So in both cases, there is an increase. Capital, increase in capital is supposed to be credited. Increase in cash is supposed to be debited. Then we move on. On the fourth, transferred 66,000 from business till to the bank. So in this case, which accounts are affected in this transaction? Our two accounts here, one, from the business till, this means from the cash account. So cash account reduces by 66,000. Cash account reduces by 66,000. And the bank account increases by the same amount. Now, remember, Lana, so we said, that when opening ledger accounts, always remember that assets and expenses, any increase is supposed to be debited and any decrease is supposed to be credited. While for capital, liabilities, or even, yeah, can work with that, is supposed to be, sorry, any increase, is supposed to be credited and any decrease is supposed to be debited. Those should be our guiding principles. Any increase in asset or expenses, we debit, decrease with credit. Increase in capital or liabilities or even a, an income account or revenue account, increase with credit and decrease with we debit. So therefore, we move on. In this case, cash reduces, so we shall credit. Bank, we shall uh, debit. Then the other one is brought his private furniture worth 15000 into the business for business use. So learners, in this case, we have a furniture account that has, was not existing, has been created, a furniture account. And then capital. Why are we saying capital account? Anything from private sources, that is additional investments. Additional investments increases capital of 
the business. Additional investment increases capital of the business. So this private furniture has been converted to business furniture. And therefore, this one is an additional investment in form of furniture and hence will increase the capital account, the owner's equity. Then a furniture account, also an increase, so we debit and capital, we credit. And lastly, borrowed a loan uh, in cash of 40000 So in this case, we do not know where this loan is coming from. Therefore, we just open a loan account and a cash account. So loan is a liability in the increase with credit and the cash increases by 40,000, therefore we debit. So long as we can move on and open our accounts and proceed. So the first one, we said we are opening the capital account, yes, and the cash account. So cash account, cash account, so we say do we debit, remember on the details, remember always we have these columns, the debt details, ledger folio, and the amount on both the debit and the credit side. So we debit our cash account, the month is June, so 1-6-2008, uh, where did this uh, money come from? Investment, so therefore capital account remember on the details we write the other respective account in the same transaction which is 120,000 120,000 then capital follows capital account yeah, capital account we credit that is on June 2008 the details cash amount 120,000. We move on to the other question that is uh, we open a furniture and a capital account. Remember capital, sorry, we are here on fourth, sorry, cash account and a bank account, cash account and a bank account. So we already have an existing cash account. So there is no need of opening another one. So did four, six, uh, 2008. We have uh, 66,000. Where did this money go to? To the bank. Bank, uh, which is amounting to 66,000. Uh, 66,000. 66,000. Uh, then the other one we are supposed to open is the respective account. That is the bank account. Bank account. Yeah, we debit on uh, 4, 6, uh, 2008. Uh, where did this money come from? From the cash amount, 66,000. Then we proceed to our third transaction. Uh, we have the furniture account and the capital account. You already have an existing capital account, so we just uh, feed our details therein. So on date 28, uh, no, date 13, sorry, 13th of June 2008, we have a furniture, yeah, is, yeah, where did this capital come from? It is furniture that was uh, invested, or private furniture converted into a business furniture, and the furniture was worth uh, 15,000. Then we proceed, uh, we open now a furniture's account, furniture account, whereby we are supposed to debit on the same date, 13-6-2008, 2008, we have, um, uh, yeah, this furniture, it's an investment, therefore capital, it will be our details. And lastly, we have a loan borrowed, uh -huh, so we credit, and then a cash debit. We already have an existing cash account, so we debit uh, 40000 on date 28, 6, 2008. We debit. Where is this cash coming from? Loan. How much? Uh, 40000 40000 
and finally we open our last account which is the loan account a loan account whereby we are debiting i'm uh, sorry crediting the 40000 on date 28 june 2008 yeah we have we have here a loan came in the form of cash yes we took a loan in the form of cash amounting to 40,000. So therefore learners, that is how you're supposed to open those uh, ledger accounts. Now we move on to the next part that is balancing. We balance. So how do we balance ledger accounts? So you take uh, the totals for both the debit and the credit and uh, subtract the smaller figure from uh, the bigger uh, figure. So we can start from down here, loan account. So the debit side is zero and the credit side is 40,000. So 40 minus zero, that gives us 40,000. Where do we record that? On the side with the lesser amount. So the side with the lesser amount is the debit side with the zero. So we have, we balance uh, this one on date 28 of June 2008 as at June 2008. Yes, so the balance, yes, the balancing figure in this case. So the balance to be carried down, balance to be carried down is 40,000. Yes, 40,000. Remember, where are we getting this 40 from? We said we add the debit totals and the credit totals. Initially, our debit side was zero. Our credit side totals is 40. 40 minus 0 gives us 40. And that is our balancing our figure. Then we can get the final totals. This is 40,000. 40,000. Yeah. 40,000. That will be our 40. Thousand. So we can bring this uh, figure down here. So on 29th, 29th of June 2008, 2008 balance that was uh, brought down was 40 thousand balance brought down was forty thousand we move on to the next account the furniture account oh sorry the furniture account yeah this was fifteen thousand sorry for that fifteen thousand fifteen thousand Debit side 15,000, credit side 15,000. Therefore, our balancing figure in this case will be 15,000 minus zero, which gives us 15,000. Which gives us 15,000. This is our balance. Be carried down uh, on date 28th of June 2008. And then we can balance... So this gives us uh, 15,000 and again the other side we have 15,000 the totals uh, and then we can uh, this is our uh, balancing figure we can bring it down so on date 29 of June 2008 our balance brought down was this 15,000. Yes. Then the bank account. Move on to the bank account. Yes, bank account. Debit side 66,000, credit side zero. So our balancing figure will be 66,000 minus zero, which gives us 66,000. This is our balance to be carried down on date 28th, June 2008. And therefore, we can close that account. Yes, can comfortably 
uh, close that account. So this is 66,000, 66,000, yes, like that. And then we bring down, remember these brought downs are the ones we are going to use when opening the trial balance. We bring down uh, this one. Our uh, balance brought down on 29th of June 2008 will be our 66,000. 66,000. Then we move on to capital. Move on to capital. Yes, move on to capital account. Capital account, debit side is zero, credit side. We have, sorry, this was supposed to be 15,000, not 150, 15,000. So we have 135. Totals will be 120,000 plus 15,000. That gives us 135,000. 135,000 on the credit side. On the debit side, zero. So we subtract 135 minus zero gives us 135. And therefore, we have 135,000 as our balance to be carried down on 28th of June 2008. 2008 yes so therefore we can close our account yes close our account we have that yeah so this is 135,000 and this side the debit side 135,000 and we can bring down remember we've said this brought down so we use them in our next part 2008 so we have the balance brought down is 135,000 this is the balance we are bringing down than us as ones here in this case this is what we brought down uh, this is what we brought down learners in this case our brought down is that one yes this gives us what was remaining in the account as at date 28th yeah so in this case what remained in the account for the bank account was 66,000, for furniture is 15,000, for loan is 40,000, for capital if clearly seen is 135,000. And finally for the cash account, we have the debit side is, uh, we, the credit side is 66,000 totals. The debit side is, uh, we have 120,000 plus 40,000. That gives us 160,000. So we subtract the uh, smaller figure from the bigger figure. So we have 160,000. Yes, 160,000. We subtract 66. Thousand. We subtract 66,000 to get, so 15 minus 6 is 9, to get 94,000. 94,000, therefore, will be our balancing figure. So we move on. This is our balance to be carried down on the 28th of June, 2008. Yes. So remember, where did we get this 94 from? 94,000. Get the totals for the debit and the credit side, 120 plus 40, 160,000, minus 66,000 to get our balancing figure, which is 94,000. And therefore, we can close our account. So if you total this two, we are supposed to get... Uh, this is zero, 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 uh, 10, we carry one, 16. So 160,000. This other side, the same case. 160, 
thousand. Yes, and we can comfortably bring this down. Yes, we bring it down here so that on the 29th of June 2008, we have our balance brought down, amounted to 94,000. Amounted to 94,000. And learners, that is how we balance our ledger account. Up to that, we are okay. So we move on now to extracting a trial balance. We now extract a trial balance. So we start by, uh, we can give this business the name XYZ. So we have uh, XYZ uh, uh, business uh, trial balance. Trial balance. Balance as at 29th of June 2008. Yes. So we move on. How do we extract now a trial balance now that we have this? Now, learners, as I told you, it is going to be very easy. So we we'll start here with our cash account. Let's uh, record that. These are the details where we record our accounts. This is a debit, and this is our credit column. A trial balance has three columns, the details column, the debit column, and the credit column. Now, let's see, we move on. Our cash account is, our balance brought down is 94,000. It's on which side? The debit side, the debit side, so therefore, we have cash ne, debit side 94,000 learners. That is why it is very good to bring uh, these balances down. Yes. Next is our capital account. Yeah. Capital account. Our capital account. Where is our balance brought down? On the credit side, how much? 135,000. So we just record that 135,000 on the credit side. Next account is the bank account. Bank account. So we just write that. Bank yeah, account. Uh huh brought down this is our balance brought down on which side the debit side how much 66000 so 66000 uh, we move on the other one is furniture account furniture account brought down on the debit side how much 15000 yes so we have our a furniture account. We have our furniture account. Uh, yes, we have our furniture account brought down of 15,000 on the debit side, 15,000 on the debit uh, side. Then we move on. The other one is the loan account. A loan account we have loan account where is our brought down on the credit side which is a 40,000 40,000 uh, then do we have any other account so we have two credit uh, balances that is account and the loan account uh, the capital and the loan account, and we have three, yeah, the same case we have here. So, learners, therefore, the next thing is to balance. Next thing is to balance. Yes. So, we balance our accounts by totaling both sides. So, 135,000 plus 40,000, this gives us five, seven, and one, 175,000. Then this one gives us, let's see, 
whether it's going to balance 4 plus 6 is 10 plus 5 15 we carry 1 we have uh, this is a 10 1 plus 9 is 10 plus 6 16 plus 1 17 and learners clearly our account has balanced so this is how we extract a trial balance from the ledger account so you have to make sure that your ledgers have balanced a very you balance your ledgers very well and we've said learners do not struggle just ensure you bring down your balances and you just pick and paste on the trial balance the way it is if the balance brought down is on the debit side you just paste on the debit side of the trial balance if it's on the credit side just paste on the trial uh, balance on the same uh, side so a trial balance checks whether the ledger accounts were well prepared and clearly from what we have our trial balance has balanced very well meaning that we did not have any issues when preparing in our ledger accounts sorry so our ledger accounts were well prepared and that has been proven by the trial balance uh, balancing a uh, very very well so learners what do we or what can we conclude from this from this i'm seeing that all the assets account have debit balances and capital and liabilities have credit balances so sometimes you may be given information yeah, you may be given balances and you're told to come up with a trial balance you only have to remember that all the asset and the expenses have debit balances or revenues capital and liabilities account usually have credit balances so when preparing a trial balance the accounts of asset or expenses i expect to see those balances on the debit side for the credit side only the revenue accounts capital accounts and liability accounts so see you in our next lesson bye bye for now